His story was everywhere in the media. Robert Vujtovic left his house and never returned. For years there was no signs of where he is. Until 2015, when the Polish organization Archivum X took the case into their hands and found new information and a possible killer. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Pero and I hope that you're all doing great. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Robert Vujtovic and what could have possibly happened to him. If you don't know, on this channel, I do true crime videos. So if you like true crime, please leave this video a like uh, and a subscribe. You can also check out the playlist just here. And without further ado, let's get straight into the story. Robert Vujtovic was born on the 29th of October 1972 in Kraków. Their family was extremely close together. Whenever there was a child born in the family, they would make them a little memory book. Robert's book was green and it kept all the letters and photos uh, of his memories, basically. The first letter in that book was uh, a letter from his mother to his father saying how she's so excited uh, to have Robert come to the world and that she just can't wait to see him. When Robert was about 10 years old, uh, his father started a passion in him um, of books. He really loved to read books and learn new things. He started to study really hard uh, and begin to get good grades in school and he wanted to go to an elite pilot's college, which his father Lech um, was really touched by it because he, when he was his age, uh, wanted to go to the same college. And I don't mean the university type college, I guess it would be the same as high school. And after all those tests, um, the physical and theory tests that he had to go through, he actually got into that college. He was an outstanding student and received the parachutist badge. At that time, it was kind of a military school combined with like a regular school. He received multiple diplomas in sports and education, and he finished his degree with an outstanding grade. And at the same time, he also became an aviation mechanic. Next, he went to a military medical academy where he becomes an honorary donor. However, he doesn't stay in that academy for a long time as he misses his family uh, and his city and he wants to just return back home. So after two years of studying in the academy, he returns back to Krakow and he immediately gets into Jagiellonski Universitet, which is uh, one of the better universities in Poland and he studies psychology. So as you can see, he's pretty much excellent at everything. He's great at sports. He's uh, great in his education. He seems to have a bright future ahead of him with all of the diplomas and all of the degrees that he's received. But this is where his story takes a turn for the worse, unfortunately. So Robert begins to attend pastoral meetings at the church uh, in the university. He at the time didn't have that many friends. Uh, most of his free time he spent in the library or at the university. He's an extremely religious person um, and very trusting. Like I said, he doesn't have many friends or a girlfriend. He doesn't attend any parties. He doesn't drink. Um, he spends all of his time. He spends all of his time studying, doing sports, and one of his favorite activities, which is playing the guitar. Like I said before, uh, the family was really close together. They would often write letters to each other. Um, and this is the last letter that Robert wrote to his father. Uh, his father at that time was working in Russia. Uh, and this is what the letter said. First of all, I'm sending tons of hugs and kisses. I hope that you're doing great. And I'm hoping that you don't miss mother too much. Last Thursday, I managed to donate blood again. I have already five and a half liters of donated blood. I wonder what's the record for donating blood. I only need another half a liter to receive a medal. On the 20th of January 1995, Robert was supposed to go to the library um, and after finishing in the library, he was supposed to go to the university. However, he never managed to reach any of those places. He was last seen around 1 p.m. when he was taking out his bins uh, from his apartment. And later on that night, Robert's mother um, awoke uh, in the middle of the night and she instantly knew there was something wrong because she noticed that he wasn't home and she woke up Robert's brother um, to go look for Robert and also notify the police. So the next day they were waiting for Robert to show up 
Um, however, he never showed up. The police only took the case after 24 hours of uh, Robert being missing. And the next few days was just a really heavy search uh, for Robert. The police was involved. His face was in the posters and in the media. Um, everywhere in the city, there was posters of him. Uh, his father even returned from Russia to help uh, look for him. They hired private investigators, um, however there was still no clue of him. It was as if he vanished into thin air. So around 15 years go by, uh, still no clues, um, nothing was found about this case. The case wasn't really being looked into that much until the Archivum X took this case into their hands. Uh, and they made this story viral again. You can see posters with Robert's face in the city again. He was in the media. The search for clues began again. There was even mass organized in the local churches just to help with the spirits, I guess, and for the search. So here is what Archivum X um, has managed to find, all the clues that they had. And their conclusion is that Robert was unfortunately murdered and it was done by someone from his surroundings. And the number one suspect was the priest that at that time, like I said before, when Robert used to attend those pastoral meetings, he was the head priest and he would lead those um, pastoral meetings. However, it was said that another two people were involved um, in Robert's death. It was the priest's brother and the priest's friend, uh, which both of those people were priests at the church as well. The main priest that is being speculated of murdering Robert uh, denies that he ever spoke to him one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. However, when the mass uh, was being performed for Robert, this priest uh, didn't do the mass for Robert and he never even wanted to mention his name, which is kind of suspicious. And it was confirmed that the priest's house was um, renovated and all the walls were painted right after Robert's disappearance. All of the priests were under questioning uh, and they took a lie detector and they would respond with a lot of emotions uh, to these questions. Who out of you murdered Robert? Was Robert murdered in the priest's house? Was he strangled? Was his body transported in a Fiat 125p? That was the exact car that the main priest was driving at that time. Uh, the Archivon X uh, also found a article that uh, the brother of the priest actually wrote and the article was about Robert um, and it stated something like that was that was the boy that was killed in the park in the Mistrzejowice park and if he if he didn't know uh, any information on his case how would he know where he was killed and he when he was questioned about the article uh, he got up he was walking around the room screaming um, and he was really emotional about the question and then he said yeah we killed him we wrapped him up in the rug and we transported his body and then he said you're accusing me of his death i had enough and when they asked him did you kill him they he just said no i was joking so i don't i don't know how that works um if he was joking or what happened and the body of robert still has not been found there hasn't been really any other clues about what happened except the three priests uh, and the lie detector is not enough uh, in the court to give the priests a sentence. Uh, obviously it hasn't been really confirmed that it was them. You know, it's been over 15 years that he went missing and there isn't many clues that could have been left. And I guess this case will remain unsolved. So yeah guys, this was the story of Robert. Let me know what you think in the comments of what could have possibly happened to him and yeah if you want to check out more videos please do there should be a playlist here or videos just popping up here um, leave a like it helps out a lot and a subscribe um, and i'll see you guys in the next video